Okay, so I know we're currently like a bit different. We're, we're very close right now. Um, but it's because I've put the video like in full screen. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my dog because I've had so many different comments asking you, um, or you guys asking, sorry, if you could see my dog. Um, which I could technically just move. Hold on. Like this. <laughs> right? And he's here. But let me go and pick him up and I'll take him over to you guys. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Oh my god, okay, hold on. So, this right here is my little fudgy. He hates me. He hates me right now, honestly. But, um, yeah, you guys said you wanted to see him. He's a bit tired right now, and also he is nine years old, so he is deaf, completely deaf. He cannot hear anything. Um, and he's also partially blind as well, but he is actually my my little cutie, my little my little cinnamon bun. And um, yeah, um, let me let me get him nice and close. I want to put him back down so he can go to sleep in a second because I just woke him. No, I'm Okay, let's continue the video. <laughs> okay, so hi guys, this is Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know about a system that I'm actually putting into this 100 Baby Challenge series. Basically, um, it will all give you the chance to add your Sims or your male Sims into the game so that my Sim, Kelsey, will have the chance to have a potential baby with the men that you put in the game for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a hashtag for you guys to enter your male sims into, which there's actually already been one person who has already used that. So to be able to enter in, um, you know, to the hashtag so that I can search you up and find all of your hashtags on here, if you go ahead and add it to the description when you upload it, so add in your description just here before you upload it to the gallery, go ahead and type in hashtag 100 baby miss lollipop. Um, it doesn't matter about the case sensitive, just as long as it says that. Um, I can go ahead and add your guys' sims into the game and you have the chance of my sim obviously having a baby and your sim being picked. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add all of these sims in off camera so you might see your sims sort of floating around as well which would be quite cool for you guys to see your sims and point them out and obviously let us know in the comment section if they're your sims or not. So I'll go ahead and leave it off here and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Touching by your night, it feels just right. Someone new Baby, but you 
Today we are back and as you saw in the start of this video, I think it was, um, Zoe has now had her makeover. So let me go ahead and show you her in person. She is actually stunning. I was like incredibly impressed with what she looked like. Um, I did go ahead and take away her glasses because I did actually want her to have this little nose ring in just here. I wanted her to be a little bit more grungy, um, you know, that sort of style. And, um, yeah, I just gave her, like, a cute little, like, um, blonde ponytail because she was, she was blonde before. Um, and so she's wearing contacts instead of wearing her glasses. And, yeah, she's just wearing a really, really cute outfit. And I really, really, really like her style and I'm really impressed with how she turned out. Um, so I am very, very happy with her. So she is all good. Let me just make sure that my music is on, which it isn't. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so, um, at the moment, uh, Kelsey is actually in bed, 
So we need to make sure that we have Zoe obviously doing our homework because she's a good girl and she's getting that done before I even have to tell her. This little girl over here, um, she is just going at it. I should probably have her come home now because she is having a, a, some issue. Um, she needs to go to the toilet and she also needs to head on off to bed. So we'll have her go and head on off to bed. Um, we don't need this many beds in the room. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it um, just because there's no need for us to get rid of it. But on a better oh. note, Kelsey has just gone into labour, my boo. We need to take her to the hospital. Um, and we're going to actually have her go alone because, I'm sorry, Kelsey, she's a single independent woman. She don't need no man, okay? She don't need no baby daddy to turn up to the hospital with her, okay? She can go by herself and give birth. She's done this more than enough times, okay? So... We're gonna go have her head to the hospital and I'll meet you guys when we get there. Oh, I forgot. We, we don't have to go there because she's going alone and we're not going with her. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, she's currently at the hospital giving birth to her baby. Okay, so our first baby is a baby boy. Well, I'm assuming it's gonna be our first baby, maybe our only baby, but normally she ends up having like more than one baby. So, um, we're going to call him, uh, it was Lord. No, there we go. And let me go ahead and pick out one of the suggestions that you guys have put in the comments section. So let me just head on off to my phone and I will have a look at some of your guys' comments and see what we've got on here, see if we've got any good... Okay, so I've got some suggestions on here from... I'm going to butcher this, okay? So just be ready. Addy Peju at Addy... Addy Peju? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Okay, I'm not very good with names. And the last name is Lamina. Um, so they have suggested loads and loads of different girls' names and boys' name. So for the baby boy, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the name Jonas, just because I feel like it's um. Taylor Lautner was an actor. Well, at one point, I don't know if he's still acting anymore. Um, and I feel like. We need like a cool actor sort of boy's name to match the Lautner um, last name. So I think Jonas is a good name. And let's see if we've got any more babies. Oh my God, we've got a girl. <laughs> okay. Um, and then let me go ahead and see if I can find some other names. Oh, okay. So Fiona Spence has actually suggested... Um, Danielle has gone ahead and suggested loads of different names, uh, but my favourite on there is definitely Danielle. Now it's spelled a little bit differently, so it's D A N Y E uh, L L. Yep, and that's how it's spelled for a girl's name. And we're gonna go ahead and grab another baby girl. Okay, any more? Just two. Okay, just just the two. I can handle twins again. That's fine. Okay, so she is now back, perfect. And the babies should automatically have gone upstairs, which they have, perfect. Even in the right beds as well, the little the little boy's bed, that's good. Okay, so um, she needs to come upstairs and get herself ready. Baby Boo is actually pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab him some food from over here. We've got some grand breakfast for him to eat, so we'll go and have him grab that. Anastasia, she needs to go use the potty. Is she already level three? Yes, she is. But we need to go have her use the potty anyways. And then the only skill that she needs to get up is thinking and we're done with her and she's ready to age up. And Harrison has got imagination and thinking to go before he can age up. So we are all good in that department. Um, obviously, Natalie... Yeah, it was Natalie. Okay, good. Um, Natalie, she was improving her motor skill to level four. Uh, but we didn't get too far in with that. So she's currently like a quarter of the way through level three. So I'm going to have to have her go back out tomorrow since it will be Saturday. Um, so she's off school to go and do that sort of stuff. Um, and then Lila is actually already in bed. But she needs to get up and get herself ready. Because she's probably going to end up waking up. Because she's going to be hungry and all of that jazz anyways. So I'll go and have her do that. And then she can go back to sleep. Our girl is trying to sneak a cupcake. You better put that back, girl. Okay, go ahead and grab yourself something serious if you want some food. And then I'll go have her head on up to sleep because I kind of want to keep her sleeping schedule um, in a good place for the moment. Um, oh, another plate to put in there. Awesome. Okay, right. You aren't really too tired just yet. So I'm going to go have him work on his imagination skill. And it looks like the babies are actually pretty hungry. 
So now that Zoe has finished with her food, I'm going to go have her head upstairs and go and bottle feed the babies. And she needs to get a skill up to level three in order to be promoted to a high, um, high school student of an A. So we're going to go have her obviously go fishing like all the other children and get us some fish so that we can sell them. And yeah, it'd be super convenient for us to do that while we've got the lake outside. So go ahead and feed those baby boos for me. And then he's going to need his nappy change, so we'll go ahead and do that afterwards. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same for, um, what was her, what was her name again? Danielle, that was it. And then, no, Danielle seems to be fine. Okay, go ahead and give her a cuddle. And then I'm actually going to send um, Zoe to bed since there's no need for her to be awake anymore. So she can head on off to sleep. You are not supposed to be napping, my darling. You're supposed to be sleeping, which is fine. Um, and oh my god, this just broke again. Thank god. Mm, lovely. Love that. Love that. Okay. What was the other little girl doing? Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. Um, she could probably grab some food too, though. So let me go and pull out some grand breakfast for her to eat. And she can go and grab herself a serving of that so that she's not complaining that she's hungry. And then I'll go, like, throw that back in the bin. Uh, oh, throw that back in the... We do not want to throw that in the bin. We're going to throw that back in the refrigerator. And, of course, I knew this was going to happen as soon as we left, right? Kelsey, you're closest right now. You can go and change her nappy. So, Julia, she just gave birth and you haven't even seen your children yet. So, you head over there and do that. Okay, she can go back to sleep. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip until Kelsey wakes up or until something is happening with the children where we're going to be building skills or anything like that. And I will see you guys in just a second. Um, and Kelsey looks like she's just finished. And we've got a fair decent bit of money, which is good. So, let's go ahead and get the bake sales started because this will improve her fun and her social. So, we want the fish out here. We want literally everything to go out here everything the half eaten pies i don't care we want everything out here all the fishies we literally made so much food the other day so we've got tons and tons of stuff to sell which is good uh we've also got a, a cake in there we'll sell the cakes there's no need to keep them in there anymore and perfect okay so let's go ahead and head out there and stock the table and start our selling for today and the children are actually still in bed. I'm going to go ahead and wake them up in just a second. Um, she needs to go and grab some cereal. And then she needs to head on out to the park to go and improve her uh, motor skill. And I think the other little girl as well needs to come and do the same thing. So we'll have her go and do that. And I also wanted to work on some of Kelsey's um, either her things over here. Um, that will give her a bit of satisfaction points or these ones here. Um, so discipline your child or toddler. Hold on. Okay. Let me, let me see. Cause the quicker we get that money tree, the quicker that we can move into the new house. So really it's, it's a win-win in all, you know, all areas. So she wants to, um, help a child with schoolwork, which we can do. Um, achieve level six parenting skill, which we've already done. And have a child with a character value within range to receive a trait, which we already have. Or what about these ones? Read to a child for two hours. We could do that as well. Read to a child for two hours. Be friends to a child with three friends. No. Um, help a child with homework three times. Have a child earn an A in high school, which we have to do. And have a child max any skill. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this one's better to do. Because it's quite easy to read to a child for two hours, to be honest. So I'll go ahead and have her do that. And then I'm going to go and grab, yeah, the bookcase, which we've already got. And then we'll have her go and read to either Lila or Natalie today um, to try and get that. Because the quicker that we do this and finish this, the quicker we can go ahead and buy her the money tree. Which, obviously, we want because we all want to move into the new house, right? So that should be good. Um, speaking of, let's go ahead and place it in the world somewhere. Let me... During an event. Oh, okay. We have to wait for the yard sale to finish. And then I'll go ahead and take you into Manage Worlds. Well, okay. I'm going to place it down on the lot that it's supposed to be on. But obviously, you've got to bear in mind, I'm going to actually place it on this lot here so that there's enough room for the um, garden in the background. But for the moment, we will just use, um, we'll use this lot, this plot of land over here. And we will just go ahead and place, place my lot on there so you guys can see the new house and 
what it's going to look like and that sort of stuff. So, let me go ahead and just quickly save this lot so this poor little woman doesn't lose her house. Well, wait, on other thoughts, what is this? That's a lemon tree. Oh my god, we could have Kelsey come over to this lady's house and harvest some of her lemons if they're actually in store. Chrysanthemum. That's actually useful to know. I didn't realize that that was the case. Why is my tree not here? There's definitely, there, sh there should definitely be a tree out here. This tree is correct. That tree is definitely correct. Okay. Oh no, it is there. It's just because I was so close. Okay. Um, okay. So here is the house. Um, it's super, super cute. I mean, this was a house that I built myself. I was actually trying to record a speed build, but you never get this. You never guess what. I was recording it, but I didn't record it in the right setting. So the whole time I was recording it, the whole screen was blank. I was so upset because this house took me so long to build. Since it wasn't like a style of house I was used to building. And in general, it takes me so long to build it anyway. So this is what it looks like. And it's a cute little like uh, mid-century modern house. Um, so don't be fooled by the size of it because it is a lot bigger than what you would expect. So it's only one floor. So I'll go ahead and drop the roof down so you guys can see. So as we walk in, we have the open area just here. This is going to be the dining room. Obviously, there's going to be enough room for everybody to sort of squeeze in there and grab some food. Nice for, you know, seasonal holidays and things. Uh, we've also got a bathroom just here, which again, I tried to squeeze a little shower in there because we're not missing out on any room. We all need all the bathrooms we can in a 100 Baby Challenge house. We also have laundry, okay, because I wanted to go ahead and include some laundry in the game. Can you blame me, okay? No, I don't think you can. Um, and then we also have a massive kitchen, okay, because you know how much Kelsey loves to cook. The idea this that with this house is it wasn't going to be used for the 100 Baby Challenge, but it just sort of turned out like that. So that's sort of how it worked. And as you can see here, we actually have a half wall, so this bit is actually connected. So when you're sitting eating your food, you can actually talk to anybody that's in the kitchen as well, which is cool. Um, and then we also have somewhere to write. Kelsey will have a computer, which speaking of that computer could probably be sold because that computer is like 1440 that's like a quick easy fix to get the uh, cost of the lot down already and then over here is kelsey's bedroom this is where the magic happens obviously she doesn't need something massive um we've got you know a nice little nice little room in here cute mirror we've got um a, you know a wardrobe as well just here and yep that is that area and then over here, we've also got like a little conservatory where you can come out here and sit. Obviously, she's super into her gardening, so I know that she would want something like this. So I think this is kind of perfect. Somewhere where we can grab some books, like a little reading nook. I'm really, really happy with how this room turned out. And then outside, we have somewhere to come and light the fire and sit round. Um, we have some areas to eat some food and cook some food as well. Speaking of, that thing could go because uh, we, have, we don't have the money for it. Um, we want to get in this house as soon as possible. So I'll go ahead and delete that, which is good. Um, okay, so yeah, that is all the upstairs. So let's go ahead and head down to the downstairs floor. So this is just in the basement area. So as we walk in, this is where you come down the stairs. So, you know, you come down through here, which is a cute little, cute little area just there. And you come down and we have a bathroom. Again, obviously, as many bathrooms as we can. Over here, we have some toddler's beds. This is the baby's bedroom. Um, again, we have like a little play area in here because there wasn't enough room in the toddler's bedroom to fit it all in. And I wanted to be able to, you know, for the children to be able to work on their arts and crafts because it will be an easy skill for them to build. And again, social skill there as well. This is the toddler's bedroom just here. So we've got two little girls' bed two little girls beds and two little boys beds at the back and we also have obviously somewhere to play and do all of that stuff and then over here we have the children's bedroom um i haven't actually built the toddler's bedroom just yet have i no i have not so i need to go ahead and build that separately um unless i don't know maybe we could just we could probably just expand it at some point and have the toddlers be in here oh sorry the teenagers be in here um, but just for the moment, that's sort of what it looks like over there. And yeah, it's just some areas to sort of sit and do stuff. I mean, really, this is a bit excessive having this in here as well as in here. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and delete that, to be honest. And like two violins, that, that's fine. We, we could have two violins. Another bathroom, again, with a little potty, which we need, obviously. Um, 
If we go ahead and save it. Oh no, no, the, the value did change of it. So it's down to 88,000 that we got it down to with everything deleted, which we can just go ahead and add it back in once we earn enough money for it anyways. So I'll probably just do that. Um, there's an ice cream maker. That can probably go. We don't really need that. There is a microwave. How much is a microwave? That's not that expensive. Coffee machine. No, that's really cheap. Um, I think really that is it. I got rid of all the really expensive stuff. So hopefully we should be able to move in a little bit quicker. So let me go ahead and resave the house now that it's a little bit less money. Okay, so back to the Hartman household. We need to have Kelsey head on off to the romance festival to check if there's any plants. Because normally they have some plants that are growing now. And it's currently fall, which I think a lot of the plants fall in fall. Maybe or I think a lot of the plants mainly fall in summer, but that's fine. We can go out there now just to check if there's any plants that we can start harvesting. So we'll have Kelsey obviously go by herself. We don't need no mayans coming with us. And obviously Kelsey has no friends because her children are her friends. So let's head to Samai Shuno. And then I think the Romance Festival is just here. So let's head to the... Um, the karaoke area. Bro oh, no, you didn't! Oh, no! Dragon fruit, it's there. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Snapdragon. I mean, I was super hoping that there was gonna be some strawberries already done, but that is perfect. And what about this one just here? Birds of Paradise. B Paradise. Birds of Paradise is here as well. Um, lilies are here. Obviously, we can't get that. Snapdragon. See, the only issue with it being right now is a lot of the plants out of season. But the dragon fruit is in season, which is what we wanted because this is big, big money for the dragon fruit. So I'm going to go have her, Kelsey, go ahead and grab some dragon fruit. No. No. Not happening. No. No. No, 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 no. Because this thing is in the way? You have got to be joking me. She can't go and harvest it. Please, Kelsey, please. She can't reach it. That's so not fair. That's su that's like ha why though? I don't understand. She should definitely be able to to grab. Maybe she can like harvest something that's like super close to it, and it'll. I mean, I would have thought that the harvesting this stuff would harvest that for it. Oh please, please, please! She doesn't have any dragon fruit in her inventory. <laughs> No, that's so not fair. It's literally just there. Oh, I don't understand why. Oh. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Can we can we do anything to it? Can we take a cutting of it? Even if I just have like some of it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? This isn't fair. This thing is in the way. What am I supposed to do to get rid of that? Okay, so apparently, because I'm just trying to figure it out, because to be honest, we should be able to get that dragon fruit. It's not fair that it's kind of like stuck in the thing here and that we can't get it. So what I wanted to go ahead and do is actually cheat in a dragon fruit and give her like, I think there's two, two dragon fruits on here. So I was going to go ahead and give her two dragon fruits because she should technically be able to get it. It's just not fair how it's stuck in this little pot over here because it hasn't been placed correctly. Because for some reason, since seasons happened, everything sort of glitches and moves out. So I'm going to go ahead and give her one. Um, so I'm, I need to take her home and actually, um, there we go, we'll actually have her head, head on home. Um, and then she should be able to buy one in the build category using show hidden objects, if I'm correct. Um, so, oh, there's a snack. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a snack over here. Yeah, darling, darling, hon, give him a flirty introduction. There's a snack. You, be you best grab that snack before you leave. <laughs> okay, go over there. Give him a flirty introduction. Come on, take it well. Do it well. Here we go. Come on, hit him with it. Do it. Oh, he's into it. He's into it. Oh, wait. Was he into it? Maybe not. Okay. Well, anyways, we've greeted him now. That's all I needed to do. I just wanted to say hello. And it doesn't really look like there's any other guys here that we could use anyway. So, that's fine. Let's go have her head home. And then I'm going to cheatily give her a dragon fruit. But it's not cheating. Because I, too I should technically have the dragon fruit. But the game placed it in a wrong position. So... Oh my god, I love that. I joined back in. 
I've been sitting here speaking to you guys for the past 10 minutes and playing and you guys didn't even see the footage. This is crazy. Okay, right. Let's do a recap of what just happened. So Kelsey went out here. She planted the, the dragon fruit out here. So we now have two dragon fruit plants. That was a recap. Um, what else happened? Lila got her skill up to level four. So she can now age up um, when she hits an A in school. And we also just aged up Anastasia because she just hit all of her highest levels in her, you know, in her schoolwork. Um, or sorry, she just hit all of, her, all of her levels as a toddler. So she's now aged up to a child. And Harrison is the only one left because he needs to get this skill up. Um, and I think that was everything really that you missed. Oh, wait, no. Um, Zoe actually improved her fishing skill to level three. So she is now ready to age up as long as one of her skills is in the chance to receive a trait. So responsibility needs to go up just a little bit and then we're finished. And that was everything. That was where we left it. So we're all good. We're not too far behind. So it's almost their birthday and here they are just hugging as they do because they're just really awkward. Um, okay, so next up, I wanted to have her go ahead and finish selling some stuff. Um, there we go. Finish selling everything. So tend the table and then start the yard sale. And then once she's finished doing that, I promise she can go to sleep. Fudge. Fudge. Lay down. You're being loud. Fudgy. Oh, I told you he's deaf looking. Fudge. Look, I'm trying to vibrate to you. I'm trying to make vibrations on the floor. Come on. Sit down. I can hear your pitter pattering. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> Stop. Okay, we're just going to ignore him and pretend that he isn't just sitting there, like trying to eat Bye cheese bye. off the floor. <laughs> so we'll just sort of pretend that isn't happening. Anyways, um, she is eating some food and she's going to go over there and talk to Harrison, which I don't want her to do. She then needs to take a shower and then head on off to sleep and use the toilet and go to sleep for me. This little lady, now that she's aged up, we need a makeover. Right, okay, so she's going to head on off to sleep. Um, so she is good. And then Natalie, she has got her skill up as well. So she is all done. So other than grabbing some food, she is perfectly fine. So she can go grab some food and then head on off to sleep herself. Her sister um, has also got her skill up to level four. So she can now head on off to sleep as well. And then you're out here um, doing a yard sale where no one's turning up, which is super awkward. Um, right, okay, before she does all of this and before she goes to sleep, the children actually need sorting out upstairs. So I want to go have her come up here and feed the babies. Make sure that they're all good. Obviously, the, here goes the chorus. Love that. Love that for me. Perfect. Okay, Kelsey's down here attempting to sell stuff to people. This guy is also pretty cute. So give him a cheerful introduction. And then give him a sales pitch. And then this is actually Dirk Dreamer. Um, and go ahead and ask him for a sales pitch as well. He's a celebrity, so um, he'd be harder to get with. But you know what? We got with Thorn, and, you know. Easy. Easy, mate. Okay. Give him a sales pitch as well. All these babies should be taking or should be being taken care of from Zoe's perspective. She should be finished with everything. That should be good. Okay, please make them be quiet. Please just don't let me hear them anymore. <laughs> and then she can head on off to sleep herself as well. Then we'll head back down to Kelsey. Looks like the yard tower is actually finished because she has gotten too tired. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the stuff back in the fridge so that it doesn't go off. And then, yeah, hold on. Let me just move everything over. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Now, my dog's actually just down by my legs, like, wanting a stroke because he's, like, moving around. So I'm just sitting here stroking him while I'm saying bye to you all. <laughs> Which you should have seen him in the start of this episode anyways when I went to go pick him up and bring him over to the camera. So you guys have seen him. But yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and end this episode off here. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And yeah, if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and there's a little notification bell next to it, go ahead and click that and you'll get notified every single time I upload. And that way you'll never miss one of my uploads. Um, and I think that is everything from me. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys. I choke you down just like a pill.